Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I have another repair video here. This is a 2010 Audi, Audi S4 with a V6 engine. So you guys can see that from here. So I just removed some of the covers in here. The reason the car is in here is because it has a, a big coolant leak. So I uh, already look at it and uh, it's coming from the water pump and some of the plastic tubes are, are on the right side. Like it's, they're just impossible to see. So what I'm thinking to do is I'm going to try to remove the radiator and the AC condenser and see if I can work this way without removing all this. Um, which, you know, what I'm saying without removing all this is the radiator support here, which I think is gonna be impossible. I'm looking at from the inside in here and the things are attached to that, looks like it. Well, let's, let's find out. No matter what, I have to uh, bring the AC, that's part of the procedure. I'm not trying to cut corners, I'm trying just to do it as quick as possible. So the first thing that I'm going to do is evacuate the coolant, I mean drain the coolant and evacuate the AC. Alright guys, I'm recording the gas right now from the AC system. One thing that I like to do is go a little bit into vacuum so when I open the lines there's not pressure in it because if you don't do that it will like you know spit oil on, on you. Just to give you that, uh, that to you guys too. I will be applying the same thing with both cameras. So my next step is, I definitely want to remove the bumper. I don't want to work with like all this stuff in my way. So I don't think I will be showing the whole removal. Because otherwise it will be forever. But I will show most of it. This one's a majority are T30s. You will find T30s and T25s on the bumper. These are for the light too. We got some T25s in here. And I have already the bench clean and ready to go. And my tools on the right side. So I think uh, this is going to work better. Yep. It's like an auto pilot going to the right side. I don't know why. All right, guys, so I'm going to remove the bumper, which is, uh, you know, I got to race out the car, get the undercover, get some of the bolts that are here. And uh, that's it, it's pretty simple, the bumper. What you got to be careful is like sensors like this one, the ambient sensor and so on to disconnect it. Well, so I had the cover, I put it just right there. I will see what I put that later on. And now the next thing to do is to remove the uh, headlights and start working yourself around that harness and everything. Uh, in order to remove the bumper, you just remove two bolts, two, two T, uh, T25s in here, and then a number 10 in here in the upper bolts. That's all you really need to do. Disconnect the part eight sensor and nothing with the radar. It's just a part, you know, for the cruise control. I miss, uh, spoke when I said it was radar, it wasn't. And this thing is just full of uh, leaves. So, I mean, we need to get everything out of here. So always just, again, look around and see where you need to disconnect and remove. And be careful because these things had so much uh, plastic. I know it's gonna be very hard for you guys to see even with this camera, that's what I got the other one. But I do need to get these slides out. And I got one in the back. That's our T30, looks like it. Just on the back of the light. I'll just get both out. This is the way this ball looks. And so you guys know the one for the headlights are these long ones. So you will not miss it. 
or mix it. Uh, okay. All right, guys, I got the air pump disconnected, the horn and the harness stays here. Um, I gotta take a look and see what else I need to remove. I mean, all these hoses, they gotta come out, the radiator hoses, they gotta come out. And I'm looking to see if I'll take the radiator only. I might take this uh, uh, support off, but leave the radiator support on. I'll have to see, because I mean, it's a lot of disassemble, but it's the only way that I will be able to work in order to remove or replace this piping, which is, you know, in the front of the engine and it's impossible to work with all the stuff in there. So I just want to, you know, keep you in the loop and show you all the stuff that I have been removing. I know it's uh, sometimes it's hard to carry that camera and by being kneeling and up and down, it's going to be a little probably dizzy for the video. So. I changed the gears a little bit, but I will show you everything slowly as it goes, okay? I right, removed the cooler that is on the front. It's a hole by one T30 here, and then you have to squeeze the tabs from, I will show you in a second how it looks from here, and then kind of like lean back and then raise up. Uh, then I also removed the AC condenser. <laughs> Look at all these leaves in here. I mean, this was just full of leaves everywhere. Uh, the AC condenser, you have two tabs, you have to push and then just slide up. It's a hole by two uh, T30s. These are the ones that hold the uh, hoses, so just a little different in length. And I was able to find covers for the hoses. I will recommend always to keep the system as sealed as possible, especially because the oil from the AC, con you know, from the AC system, it kind of like sucks the moisture, so you don't want to keep that open. So I put one on the bottom and one, one on the top, and I did the same thing in the condenser because otherwise it will suck all the moisture. I was able to find exactly the, the one made for that because it has even the pin for both positions to lock it up. So this is the oil cooler. I think it's transmission oil cooler. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong. Actually, it's just a cooler because there's no lines attached. All right, guys, uh, I got the radiator out. This was a little bit of a fight, uh, mostly on the hoses. Um, I had to remove the clip on this one because it was very hard to, to get it out with, with the clip in there. I put them in, you know, on my tray. But what I usually do is I just put a little bit of a pressure on the radiator and gently with a screwdriver, I kind of push the hose out. And uh, it has worked always. I always also spray with WD-40 and it, and it works. So, all right guys, so let me show you how this looks in here now that we have everything apart. And yeah, I think, uh, I'm not sure if I want to remove the radiator support or not. So the hose, the, I mean, the, the pipe that we need to replace is this one. It goes behind the water pulley and on this side. I also going to replace these tubes that goes to the oil cooler in here for the engine. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of coolant in there. Is that a 16? Yeah. Think about it, you know, removing this with everything on it, it will be just beautiful. So this is a perfect time to put all bells and everything here. And now the next one is right here, and it looks like a 16 too, but we're going to use a wrench. No, it's not a 16. Why do they do different sizes, huh? Maybe it is, but it's not reaching in. All right. Now we got to get this one in order to get that one out. And this tube is on the way as well. So let's get it out. Looks like T30. All 
Well, let's see where this one is being hauled. So let's disconnect here and disconnect in here as well. Since it's attached, it would be easier. To get the clamps out and so <clears throat> here's the hose pick to get the seal off. And yes, we have more coolant, obviously. Now what we don't need to break loose is our 12 points M10. Make sure it's all the way in. Wow, it is tight. Gonna need a. Uh... The problem with this one, and that's why I got the Stavi. That one is, it's weak. The same thing. That's a water pump. Oop. So we do have leaks here from the water pump, but something else on top which I suspect is this pipe, and that's what I got it. So let's get that water pump out, uh, 230. <laughs> Anyway. Alright guys, I gotta clean this a little bit, so I'll be right back. Alright, back in business. Gotta get this baby out of here. Get this tubing out. Most likely the compressor at least is gonna have to be pushed. Or lose out with if WD40 in that connection. There's some in here. I got a sensor in here that most likely gonna have to reuse. I don't I don't think I saw it on the pipe. <clears throat> so I was trying to find that uh connect goes or con air hose out. And it's gonna be beautiful. So Definitely easier if I can get this baby out. Oh, I just did. Cooling. <laughs> this. This way. Right, Oh, here. Here. Oh, this here. This one is going to be 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 so that's a connection, like a bypass tube from the water pump to the water cooler and then come back. Yeah, 
So this is our baby there. I was trying to see if I can push it out by getting the ball loose, but no. Look at the size of this monster going in. So I definitely have to get that compressor off. No luck on that. So most likely I'm gonna need to get that oil cooler out as well. Let's keep going. And this car is supercharged, so that thermostat is under the supercharge. Yeah, let's just see engineer this like that, you know. I mean, who cares about the mechanics? That's what the engineer who designed this. Uh, we do it on right here in our facility. We don't need that much room. Talk to mechanics. Search for the war. Yeah, just make sure that you're in the ball well before you try to lose it up. Because if you destroy those uh, little splines in there, oof, it will be funny. One good thing, at least, is you break it loose and they can come even with the tip of your fingers. Well, hopefully this time it's loose. Yes. Let's leave this here so we'll drip all the oil in there. And now let's have fun with our compressor. Let's use the mirror to look from behind. See what we got. Yeah, we got one bolt in here that is impossible to reach with the oil cooler in there. So those are 13. <clears throat> behind. No, but, uh,
All right, back in business. Let's keep going with that compressor. I gonna have to take out that supercharge and all the stuff because something else is leaking, which I assume is the thermostat, and we have it here. And that's what I ordered. For some reason, they sent me two. But uh, again, this is the thermostat that lays flat in here. So usually it comes and leaks this way, and that's why we have another leak in here, not just a water pump. But we'll see when I take that uh, supercharger out. If, yeah, that's good. All these seals is stayed here. I should have come with it. Um, I got out with a pipe, but at least they were doing a good job. Let's try to keep going with that rear bolt. And hopefully, I can just push the compressor back and get that uh, bracket away. Let's clean again the floor. Oh, sorry. Forgot always that. I turn the microphone back on. It goes to like a full blast, sound wise. Yeah, with other oil cooler, I can actually reach that bulb from the back of the compressor with my fingers. Okay, got it out. Looks like it's coming out. Got it. And at the same length as the one in the front. So it's good to know. Let's see how much we can do or not in there. And those are. Looks like a M8, and those are the 12 points. Let's gotta grab one and see if he does exactly. Yep, M8. Yep, perfect. At least the good thing with those is they don't get exposed to, you know, rust or so. As easy as the one out. These engines are being so crowded, they stay clean. As long as they don't have, you know, a huge leak of oil or so. Which at the end, it doesn't affect the bolts. But, all right, so this is how that bolt looks from the bracket behind the AC compressor. So we got one out. Looks like we got one here and another one in the bottom. So let's lower the car and readjust you guys. How's that? So I'm just playing with the compressor here. Ah, cooling, cooling. <laughs> if I can plug the hose. Yeah, much better. Let's just clean the floor again and just make a more mess. We gotta be careful more and this compressor in here because it's wiring. Looks like a what is in there? Sensor for ABS or I don't even know what 
that is in there. Oh, a sensor. <laughs> that if I remove that uh, pipe, this one can come out. And we can break it or get it off. Less piping, easier to work around. My goal is get this one out. See if I can disconnect that compressor. Uh, one pick. I know I got it. This one looks like it's full of uh, oil. Probably from the power soon. Come on. Okay. And don't tell me the hits on the pipe. Yep. Oh, you can get it off of here. I got it disconnected. Now, since I want to see if I can pull this uh, compressor out, I'm not sure how much room I got with this. Got another connector at the back, but it's very hard to reach. It's like a yellow, or not, not yellow, orange color connector. I know I have it too. I got it off. Pick and a flat screwdriver. I'll show you in a second how that looks. All right, this is the connector I was talking about. So I put the pick in here and with a screwdriver pushed. Push, push, push. And now, yeah, now we're talking. Because otherwise, it was pretty much impossible to move that compressor without breaking those wires. All this just to get one tube out. And wait till I get to the upper part. That is a bigger disassemble. And I'm gonna probably do that in a separate video. I don't even know how long this one is already. Usually my videos are very short. <laughs> well, guys, I hope my videos are helpful. And um, at least they are for me, as for myself. I keep it as a record and, you know, feature repairs. I can come back and see my own repairs, like, it's like live notes. All right, we got the other one out, same shape, same length. And we got one more at the bottom. See what I can do or not with that. Uh, 
This signs, this signs. Let me get this one out. I'm gonna get that pulley from the power steering out. See if I can get that hose as well and get that compressor away from there. These are same symbols as in the water pump. M M10. Got a yeller. Okay. I give us visibility <laughs> to this hose here, which if I remove, I might be able to pull the compressor out and work in the bracket. So i lower it more and see what that is. Most likely the T30. Okay, you guys see? Not quite. All right. And now, that's another one. Out of the 700 different tools that you need for Audi and Volkswagen. And I probably can play more because I'm working multi brands. Guys in the dealer, they just buy for one brand. It probably is not as bad. But me, it's sometimes a little painful. And space wise, you need to have so many different cars. And, and so, I forgot about it if you want to buy like, like timing. Uh, kits you know the tools for setting up the timing even for one brand they're like a whole bunch of them all right these two are five millimeter allen wrench i talked to my advisor and i told him that we need all those uh idlers and uh pulleys from the or for the tensioners because they're like super noisy. All right, now we got oil dripping. Let's get us something to catch that. Got the pit mat in there, but. I'm gonna put a plug in there so no dust or dirty gets into the power steering pump. Always protect those. The actual hose is not that important. I mean, you can cover it if you want to as well. In my case, I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> All right, now we got more room with a compressor we can actually sit it here perfect that is perfect perfecto <laughs> all right that bracket is now moving can use the regular ratio for that now. Then we got plenty of room. And it's loose. Come on, grab it. All right. And that's how the bracket looks. Get that bolt in the tray, and this is a T30. <clears throat> 
And we got that pipe out. No, not yet. <laughs> not a Rennes catching it very well. Oh, yeah. Let me show you why it's so important to get this out. Hopefully, camera is uh, focusing on that, but you can see this gets so brittle with temperature and everything that guarantee it will leak. So get it out of the way and fix it while you're here. I'd rather have a customer tell me, you know, I don't have the money, I don't want to fix it. Well, then when you have the money to do it right, we do it. Because you do halfway and then we'll come back later. Oh, the car is leaking, you know, but I spent already all that money and blah, blah, blah. So just don't do it. You touch it, you own it. All right, so I'm going to leave that here and I'm going to start working in the upper part, the fun part. All right, guys, so let me stop the video. And this will be the end of this front part, water pump and uh, bypass uh, lines. And I'm going to start with the upper part.